Wait for the Lord to be strong. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Numbers. From Mount Hall, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, people complained against, Moses, against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt? to die in this desert, where there is no food or water. We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which beat the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being beaten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, hear my prayer. And let, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear, hear my, my prayer, prayer and, and let, let my, my cry come, come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. The nation shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, O Lord, hear my prayer. Let, let my, my cry come, come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let these future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy hide. From heaven he beheld the earth. 
to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear, hear my prayer, prayer and let my cry come, come to you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away, and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, He is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, you belong to what is below, I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation, but the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell to the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In this time of pandemic, we look to all of our medical professionals, the doctors, the nurses, the EMTs, who are heroically and bravely fulfilling their duties, fulfilling their roles and responsibilities for the health and well-being of all in society. And in the medical field, the sign for the medical field is a staff with two serpents wrapped around it. In some sense, this is the symbol for Hermes, the Greek god, the messenger. For others, it is the symbol of, med of um, the Greek god of healing. But more anciently, in the earliest account that we have of a serpent being wrapped around on a staff comes from today's first reading in the book of Numbers. Moses and the children of Israel in the desert. And this is where God heals his people in the, despite their sin from the bite of a serpent by the very sign of of a serpent. And in this passage, whenever the rabbis were writing about this passage in their commentary, they said that there were three difficulties in the desert, three struggles in the wilderness. The first is hunger. The second is thirst. The third difficulty are the wild beasts. And what we see in the book of, um, in the whole story of Exodus, is that God protects his children from these three things. He provides manna that, that um, comes upon the ground like dew. He provides water from the rock. And yet with the serpents, the rabbis say that God didn't create these serpents to come up and bite the children of Israel, but rather God's presence with the children of Israel preserved them from the wild beasts. And so when the Jews cried out against God and complained against him, God withdrew this protection, he withdrew this presence, and left them to their devices. But it did not take long for them to cry back to God and realize what they had with God in his protection. Sometimes for ourselves, when we experience God being pulled away, we become more aware of the gifts and the graces that we've always had. In this time when many sacrifices are imposed, and not so much willingly accepted, we start recognizing our desire for the Eucharist, our desire 
for community. Maybe even we're becoming more aware of our own wounds of the past that we've been ignoring because of the busyness of daily life. Maybe family is being accentuated now since we have to spend more time with them in the semi state at home. But in all these things, God is not absent. God does not leave us to suffering, but rather he embraces the sign of suffering himself, being lifted up as a sign for us as we hear in the gospel, and being the one to whom we look for that healing, for that grace, for that salvation. Nowadays and today, there are many seraph serpents slithering around. Our daily struggles, our battles with our patience, our battles with not having a quick tongue of rebuke, our responsibilities that we carry out. These things are where we can also encounter Christ. They don't have to be the bite that gives us pain, but they can be that unity with the wounds of Christ in his crucifixion, the power of his cross, which brings life and healing. In the history of the Jews, this staff with the bronze serpent that Moses crafts for their healing at the command of God is something that they kept for hundreds of years. And it wasn't until the time of King Hezekiah that this staff was finally broken because then the staff had been misused for its own purposes. The Jews began to offer sacrifices to that image. And they forgot what that sign really meant of God's providence, his protection, and his help. Let us look upon the cross in a new way as we approach Easter. Not as something to be hung up on the wall, but something to be encountered, to be embraced. To look at literally for that guiding help and protection. Because by God's, by Christ's holy cross, he has redeemed the world, and he has taken the daughters of sin, suffering and death, and has transformed them into his resurrection and life. confidence in the providential care of our Heavenly Father, we offer now our needs and our petitions. Lord, feed us at the banquet of the Eucharist with all the gifts of your Paschal sacrifice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Give us a perfect heart to receive your word that we may bring forth fruit in patience. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Make us eager to work with you in building a better world so that it may listen to your church and its gospel of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We confess, Lord, that we have sinned. Wash us cleanse by your gift of salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in the Exodus, you constantly guarded and guided your children. May we experience the same joy of your protection, recognizing your grace present in our daily life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May Almighty God accept this sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for all the good and good of all his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is she who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world. world. For, For by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set us free. free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, 
graciously to endow us with his very spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity and a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into, into my heart. heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever sinking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God forgive me, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.